For me, sailing was about freedom. It was freedom of everything. It was leaving everything behind. My father died when I was 10. My parents instilled in me a sense of determination. So when I heard about the Whitbread Around the World race, it was just something I had to do. Sailing at that time was very male dominated. And there were just no women anywhere in it. The Whitbread Round the World race at 33,000 miles is the longest and most challenging on Earth. I wanted to be part of this. I remember going to the skipper and he went, we're not going to be the only racing team in the world with a girl. And that's when I made the decision to put an all-female crew into the race. I didn't want a real job. I wanted adventure. And I just thought that would be fantastic. I was going to do everything I could to do it. We didn't really take it seriously. There was nothing to show that they would be acknowledged for anything other than failure. I was so full of doubt and fear. All I was thinking was, am I the right person to do this? The Whitbread race is underway. We weren't naive. We knew it was going to be hard. We didn't think they would even finish the first leg. It was something that we were told we couldn't do, but we were doing it anyway. This is the first time in my life I had stood up for something I believed in. And the harder it became, the more I wanted to do it. As we were finishing the first leg, I said, is that loads of little birds over there? And then we realized it's thousands of people. They were not there for us. <laughs> How many times we told we couldn't do it? You're not strong enough. You're not skilled enough. You'll all die. It was brilliant. Just completely overwhelming. <laughs> what if I tell you about a young girl who had a dream about sailing around the world? What if I tell you that it did happen?